Hello, everybody. Welcome to more Political Excess. Today, I want to take a look at some more governor's approval ratings. Morning Consult has recently released their updated tabulation for all 50 governors. But before I go into that, if you enjoy this content, please like, share, and subscribe. I also have set up a Twitter, and I'll be putting out my videos on there, possibly some other tweets. Follow me on there if you're interested in that. But definitely like subscribe on here so let's get on to this morning consult list of governors now there is not really a lot of surprises on here but the top governors again they are all republicans and the highest of them are the same three that tend to be on every list it's the very light red republicans in very deep blue states charlie baker larry hogan phil scott all of them are over 70 percent which is very impressive. I wonder how it'll go once there's a new governor in there. I can't imagine it being in the 70s if Massachusetts flips to a Democrat, Maryland flips to a Democrat, Phil Scott should still be in there after this fall. But that's going to be interesting to see how it goes down. And on the other end of the spectrum, the least popular governor with 41% approval, 54% disapproval, that is Kate Brown of Oregon, who is term limited out. That is why I view Oregon as a potential pickup for the Republicans, given the environment. And, I mean, above her, there are other Democrats here that are up for re-election. Some of those governors, Tom Wolf, Pennsylvania, Tony Evers, Wisconsin, Gretchen Whitmer, Michigan, those are going to be major races to watch to see if the Democrats end up losing those seats in this upcoming midterm. Now, Republicans, you know, not all of them are widely approved. Some of them are toward the bottom of the list. And the Democrats for the popularity, you know, Andy Bashir in Kentucky is the most popular Democrat, according to this list, and he's not necessarily close to the top of the list. Even Governor Youngkin of Virginia, he is the newest governor on this list. He has a 51% approval rating against a 35% disapproval rating. So take what you will from this list. This does give you an update on the state of which states are satisfied with their governors and their executive leadership. And of course, some of that does spill over onto other elections. It could spill over into the House and the Senate. They don't necessarily overlap, but they could. So that's a look at the current governor's ratings from around the country. You can let me know if you have any thoughts on any of these governors. Any surprises? How's your governor doing? Let me know down below. But thank you for watching, and if you enjoyed this content, please again, like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you on the next video.